Hello, welcome to the Fruitful Hands. I'm Diana. I'm Katie. And we're so happy that you joined us today. Thank you so much for coming back if, uh, if you watched us before. And if you're new, welcome. We're glad you're here. Um, I can say honestly that Katie and I are pretty blown away by all the the views and the comments, especially yes. um, just such sweet, sweet comments and uh, from all over the place. So we are just amazed and and thankful for this community yes. that we can share our love of knitting and you all are engaged and, and uh, communicating with us, yes. which is really sweet and special. It's been nice to get tips and hear yes. what you're working on yes. and um, just, yeah. Ex Encouragement. Yeah. yeah. To do this because it's definitely out of my comfort zone and Katie's too. Yes. <laughs> to, to, to put this out there for people to see and view. But we do love to knit and we love to to chat with people and knit with people and encourage each other. So I'm, I'm thankful for this community and thank you all so much for watching. Yes. Um, we are on Instagram if you mm -hmm. want to follow us there. Katie posts more on that, you know, this younger crowd, <laughs> which is a huge blessing because I'm like, oh, I'll send you the stuff that I write and take pictures of and you put it up there. And she does. So what's our... Uh, the Fruitful Hands is our Instagram. Okay. And... We also have an email address, the Fruitful Hands at Gmail, and then of course YouTube. Yes. So, so if you need to get a hold of us, uh, either through Instagram or our email mm -hmm. is probably the best way to do that. Or comments. Yes. Um, always remember too that we will not um, show you, show comment that you have won something from us. Uh, that's not if if and when we do those type of things. Those won't be how we contact you. We'll just contact you live and then you will contact us. I think yes. that's probably the safest mm -hmm. way to do that. So, definitely. Okay, that's all the admins. And we uh, will try to get back to you as soon as we can on messages. Yes. Like on Instagram, I forgot. Sometimes they're like requests rather than coming through as an, mm -hmm. and so you don't get a notification. So I went over to the request, answered those. So if I forget to do that, no, I've gotten better at checking yeah. them. So. <laughs> I'm not going to forget to do it. It just busy. might be a little you bit. You know how it is. And <laughs> comments. I'm going to go through and comment um, while my kids are at track practice tonight. So this last video that we did and all the wonderful comments. Sorry about yes. that. I just kicked the thing. Um, I will definitely get back to you. We try to comment on every comment, but if we don't, um, I I'm sorry we have just overlooked it because, yeah, we're doing yeah. But, yes, we, we are going thank to try. Thank you so and, much. Yes. <laughs> yes. For watching you. and yes. just. Y'all are kind, yes. beyond measure. Absolutely. Um, okay, so, Katie, what are you wearing? You know what? It's going to pop up on the screen because I can't remember what this is called. I feel like That's I'm okay. always saying I don't remember. That's okay. um, but this is, it's made out of magpie fibers. I think the colorway Mesa or Mesa and then Ghost Town maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just this really nice... Mm -hmm. long shawl. I did this probably three years ago. Were those some of the bougie colors or no? No. Okay. These were when Samuel and I went to Black Mountain Okay. in 2016, I think it was, he got me. That this. is just gorgeous. So I know when I first, it took me probably a year to do this because at that time I had a lot more bandwidth to do complex things. Uh -huh. And so I wanted to do that. I know. I love I know. it. Um, but and now, just the meditative knitting, yeah, knitting. But that yeah. wasn't where I was in that moment. Uh -huh. Like, I just wanted something more complex. So then okay. when I got to a season where I needed the more meditative, I got mm -hmm. back into this and um, finished it. And I'm so happy I did. So yes. I really, I don't yes. know what's going on. It's it just the... I and it's so. probably 60 to 60 or 70 oh, degrees out. It's so. so hot. We are from Kentucky, if you, if you haven't noticed yes. by the accent. Central Kentucky. So mm -hmm. our weather this, I don't know, the it's last the three place. months has been all over the mm -hmm. place. Just crazy. Yes. So today it's nice and warm. It is very cloudy. Yes. But um, it is nice and warm. Um, and it's made me realize I need to get on my summer knits yes. because I don't have any summer knits. No yes. short sleeve anything. No short sleeve? Mm -mm. That's hard so. to believe. I can't believe you have a whip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. but okay. what are you wearing? I'm wearing, this is my Rinoculus. And this one is, uh, thank you, Katie. This one, I'll stand up real quick so you can see. It's pretty nice and long. Most of them are shorter, the Rinoculuses. This is by Knit Cafe Midori. And that's her, and as you can tell, mine's not that baggy. 
Um, I really like that. I like this I one. Like I, this is a size two. And one of my balls of yarn just went rolling <laughs> across the too. floor. It's like children. Run away. Okay. It was knit out of Shibui and uh, Metal Tosh on Tosh Marina Light Base. And I got this yarn. This is what I've kind of started doing. We were on vacation at the beach. So I bought this yarn at the beach. And the colors, it's uh, from their series Colors from the Desert. And it's called Big Sky. And that's mm, when I'm at the beach. Like that's that. what, yeah. So it is, I love it. it. I can wear it in the summer or the winter. Um, mm -hmm. and I just layer it in the winter, but it is, uh, I'm sure it's a hundred percent. Oh, it's a hundred percent superwash merino. So it does feel a little super washy, but yeah, it's, mm -hmm. um, I got the yarn from Needlepoint Junction in Hilton Head and, um, and I, I really love it. It's the really si I used size 10 needles. And I'm thinking I used that on the rib too because I didn't want it to come in at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go down the needle size, then it kind of scrunches in a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted it to be more of a boxy look. Did you do twisted rib? I think I might have. I think you did. I think that's what it called nice. for. Yeah. That looks really good. So I really like this one. Mm -hmm. This was the second one I, I um, knit. The first... Ranoculus I knit was this one. Yes, it is, nice. a, and it's a bigger. It's made out of. Let me see. Do a little halo for you. Uh huh. Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to find my notes. Here we go. It is knit out of Tosh sock, and the color is Moonstone. I love this. Uh huh. And this I bought um, one of at Magpie. We had a local yarn shop oh. here in town. It was called Magpie. And it was in business for about 15 years, I believe. And then after um, COVID, uh, the proprietor, she had to shut it down because, you know, it just, it, it was, was amazing. It, it yeah, was but so we good. loved our shop. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I bought this, the, both pieces of yarn at, um, both fibers at at Magpie. So, um, and the, no, I didn't, I bought the mohair at House of Yarn in okay. Nashville because it's, um, Camilla Fiber Co. and it's called Thistle. Okay. That's really so, pretty. Yeah. And it is, let's see, size, did I put the size? No, but I did knit because the sleeves, they kind of tell you like this one is shorter, a little bit shorter, but this one I knit like 25 rows and then did, 10 rows of rib. So I think the pattern tells you just to kind of, you know, stop and you have a really short sleeve, but I wanted more oh, sleeves yeah. like to kind it. of cover. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the last one I knit. I love how with knitting, you can just adjust it to whatever you want yes. to. Like, oh, I don't like cap sleeve or I yes. don't like super short, so I'm just gonna yes. lengthen it. It's so well, nice. Well, and somebody commented, I'm sorry, I don't remember who, they asked me if I did waist shaping oh, in right. my sweaters. I generally don't, but you know what? Mm -hmm. I've seen some that some people have done and they don't, do, it's not a dramatic, but it's okay. just enough that it doesn't look so, so like baggy. baggy on the, so okay. baggy, so I may try that. Yeah, that's a good, that's, that is a good this idea. is the last one I met. <laughs> And this one will probably go to a daughter or granddaughter because it's rather short. See, it is made out of Farmer's Daughter's Fibers. The base is Foxy Lady Ooh. and Ludlow's Army is the colorway. Oh, and is this uh -huh. a... Um, oh yeah, this yeah. is a I cord bind off. Yeah. So that was one of the options she gave you to bind off the. That's nice. And then I just did the ribbing on the bottom. As you can tell, I need to sew on my ends. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that's not going to fit. Those ends can <laughs> wait. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I do have actually one daughter as I was running out the house of my house today. She said, oh, I like that. So she's going to get that one, mm -hmm. and probably other daughter daughter will get that one. <laughs> So, yay. So, I love the Rinoculus. I'll probably knit more. I've seen I some people. One. Have you knit one yet? I haven't. Oh, you need to mm -hmm. knit one because they're really fast. Yeah. I mean, a couple weeks and you're done because the needles are so big mm -hmm. and the yarn is so thin. And it's such a versatile. Yeah. Um, versatile that you could wear it over jumpers and stuff. Right. Different things. So, I'm going to knit oh, another one. I've seen somebody knit a black one and it was gorgeous. Ooh. And it was kind of like uh, just past the elbows bracelet length maybe oh, yeah. and they they did a 
I cord bind off on the sleeves. Cute. It was There's really a little, like puff sleeves. Mm -hmm. oh, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was really, really pretty. So Neat. yeah. So okay, do we have oh I have another do you have another finished art? Uh, check? Half. Oh we'll do that one. Oh, okay. Yes. So this is the morning coffee sock. <laughs> Good, Katie. I'm so bad you did it. I she know. Remembers. Morning coffee sock. Um, this is the first one I've been showing y'all for three weeks now. That's okay. And I've, I've got it done. Yay, so, Katie. Um, I love the way that she did does her toes. This is the crazy sock lady. Okay. Um, it's, there's like, I don't know. I guess I can't say it because it's in the pattern, but it's just a really okay. neat, it's a more um, fitted like around the toe okay. rather than having a pretty wide. Okay. Toe box. End. Yeah. Like that. Like, okay. yeah. So, like and that. then she's got a video on YouTube that shows you how to not like how to do the Kitchener stitch uh, without having yeah. the two pokey sides. Yes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I think I've seen that. Um, yeah. So yeah. I have been watching her stuff as I do socks. Um, in a little bit, I'll talk to you about how I broke my rule of not okay. finishing. But anyway, this Teaser. is, yep. <laughs> so this, this has not been blocked, right? No. I have no, some soft blockers if you need them. That would be nice. Yeah. And I also like the heel. Yeah. It's a heel flap and. I like heel flaps. Yeah. If I can sit and knit, the, knit and get it done, mm -hmm. I don't like to get stopped in the middle of it. Yeah. No, I don't. I have to like do it after the kids are in bed yes. and then get it yeah. all done. Yeah. So that's my half finished object for this week. Good. <laughs> well, we'll expect the other half soon. Well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. This is the Saturday shrug. Cute. Yes. And it is, it's more of a recipe, sorry, than a pattern. Um, and Jackie Rose, I think I said Caitlin did it, but it wasn't Caitlin. It was okay. Jackie from Caddy Jack's Knits. She came up with this, um, and there's a Saturday shrug, there's a Sunday shrug, which is bulky. Okay. And then there's a Friday shrug, which is fingering held double, I think Ooh. is the way they're doing it. And then they're kind of fading it or marl. I think okay. it's more marling it, one color into the next. Uh -huh. They're really cute. Yeah, I know. So, well, I've got, um, all my fingering lay down on the bed so that I can to make it to, yeah I think you need Friday? six colors okay. to make the Friday shirt okay. yeah Neat. so we'll see what I come up with yeah but the yarn for this one or to make the Friday shirt yeah this one also I want to tell you real quick I bound off loosely on the bottom the top I did not do a tubular bind on just because this yarn I didn't really think and it is definitely a tighter fit but mm. I'm going to wear that on the top anyway mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter, but yeah. this is really cute. I'll take a picture yeah, at some point and put up there. The yarns, I told you last time, but I'll tell you again, it's just Rowan Alpaca Classic in nice. pink and green. And so, these are like 10 years old. <laughs> oh, I know, and nice. I still have more left. Oh, yeah. that's great. I yeah. love being able so, to stash dive, like you see yes. a project yes. or a pattern. And yes. it's like, that's exactly it. what yarn. That's it. And I don't have to spend a penny. That's exactly what right. I don't have no <laughs> already did it. When it was a cheaper. Yes. A little bit yeah. cheaper. Yeah. You know? Okay. <laughs> what do you have? Do next? you have any more finished objects? I don't have any okay. more finished. So I told you all I need to knit some summer knits. And so I started last Saturday on my oh, anchors God. tee. I know. I can't I can't believe I've I'm this one. I know. You, she's really <laughs> so done a lot on it since I, Saturday. Um, now, does it yeah. have short rows in that? No. Not the back? Not yeah. The okay. Yeah. Um, so I, I had started it on size, I think it calls for size six needle. Mm -hmm. It was going to town and got down to like here, I think. And I just felt like the ribbing was too loose. Mm -hmm. And so mama was actually over at my house. So she frogged it for me. So I did not have to even look at it. Don't let your friends frog alone. That's right. right don't Katie? do it. Yeah, don't do it. She was really, <laughs> she was really not wanting to do no, that. I mean, wasn't. It doesn't bother me. I'm just like, yeah. okay, whatever. Especially but I'm she's like, like no, good. you don't even mind to frog your own work. I don't mind yeah. to frog my own work. Yeah, no, I don't. That's good. So, so I felt sorry for him. I'll do it. <laughs> it's so okay. nice. Yeah. So I started again on size five needles. I know, I think linen and cotton shrink after you block it they can't well they can. no if you put it in the dryer i know people have just for a oh. little bit of time like minutes okay uh that they've make they've shrink. they've shrunk because it'll okay. grow some okay it, it will grow with wearing so 
I am hoping this will be not secret. Like, I don't so that think I have it to will. No. I don't know that it will, you know, that the stitches will bloom mm. like wool does, uh -huh. but they should, you know, I, it's not going to be like this. Yeah. I have a, I have a cami under That's it true. because it's see-through Yeah, in certain spots and right. it's just a little too much for me. So I just right. have a cami on under it. Yeah. That's cute. Uh -huh. Thank you. Um, so this is the Anchors Tea mm -hmm. and I'm using Sam Scarn line or Lena. Uh-huh. Um, the other. <laughs> in the color, I think it's, yep, yeah, kit. And I'm knitting the size small right now. And I think I'm on my third ball of yarn. And I think I needed six. So I'm, I don't oh, know. I feel like they're like, done. I know. And then once I get to the sleeves, I mean, it's just, so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, tiny little yeah. sleeves. So the body's a bit of a slog. Yes. But maybe I'm when you finish slog. that, we could do an episode, just one of our short episodes of summer tops yeah oh yeah. yeah let's do it yeah okay that, would that sounds fun. good you could do the ones you're gonna make and i could that's do the ones idea. i've done yeah and what i want to make yeah that's a good Doesn't idea like we plan. should let's do it this yarn is a little um just a little bit rough mm -hmm. not a lot i mean you can tell it's definitely cotton i wouldn't say it's scratchy no right? it's not scratchy um because i'm pretty sensitive to like right. scratchy wool yes. but it is not a I don't know, like it's it feels not fine as, on my skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's just a little bit to work with because yes. after you block that, it won't be like that. Oh, okay. It softens up. Okay. That's, yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. Um, I was hoping, I have another shirt in mind that I want to make and possibly this yarn, but yes. I want to block it first and yeah. see how it feels and yeah. everything. You'll like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm excited. You'll like it. And I'm, pull, I'm going from the outside of the ball. I usually go from the inside, but I did that with the first ball and it fell apart. Yes. Like pretty soon. So yes. I'm going from the outside on this You know, one. they make those little, I mean, you know, those cans of, they, uh, like you, that you can put those little things on yes. and it kind of keeps your can cold. Well, they make those little <laughs> yarn socks, I think they okay. call it. And you could get that for a ball like okay. that. And then that way it, it'll it still collapse, but it's right. not going to go all over Everywhere. the place. Yeah. Sure. I may have some at the house. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we like to share our yes, stuff. Yes, we do. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you this one next and the balls. I told you the last time, this is a Mauritian by Isabel Kramer. And I feel like I'm getting ready wow. to split for the sleeves. Yay. Yay. I feel like so that's pretty. such a big accomplishment. Cause yeah. you know, the last few rows was like, Oh, there's, there's so, so many, many stitches. stitches, but this is, Double seed stitch here, I and then there's, that. I do too, and then there's a little eyelet pattern there, and I really have to pay attention. I'm one of those, I think, my focus is not real good all the time, so I really had to pay attention to what I was doing, but I really, really love the look of That's that. That's beautiful. So I'm ready to, to split, you know, take the sleeves and put those on holders, Yay. and I'm so glad I am switching, and I wrote out a couple of times there, but I'm so glad that I'm switching yarns uh -huh. every two rows. Thank you, Katie. Just to kind of help make sure that the, the coloring looks the same mm -hmm. throughout and it's not, you know, it's not going to be, you yeah, know, splotchy. Any, yeah. Yeah. So That's I really love pretty. that. I love that. I can't wait to finish it. That is so nice. Okay. I love that. Uh, okay. So I had made a rule for myself where I was going to finish like a pair of socks before I started a new pair. So I finished this sock, but my dad's birthday is coming up. It's not actually that soon, but I. <laughs> but she wants to. <laughs> but I want to make sure they're done. That's right. Because <laughs> it's you important. Just don't know what's going to happen. That's you know exactly what I mean? you don't know right. how much knit time That's you're going to get. That's so right. I put my those socks on hold because rules. I feel like they're meant to like help you. Yes. Do better. Yes. And to me, right now, making dad socks is doing better. So. <laughs> <laughs> so here they are. Yay! Um, started those as soon as I finished my other sock. And what pattern did he choose? Um, the Hermione. <laughs> did he really? <laughs> yes. yes so these are, this is like the April, March. No, it's the February colorway mm -hmm. for Emma's yarn. I love it. I know. And he loves it, which is so funny. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, but I'm doing a two by two rib, if you can see that. And I think I cast on 72 stitches. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go through and do the Hermione pattern, which is free on Ravelry. And oh, then good. for the heel, I'm going to do 
half of 72, so 36. Mm -hmm. Like, go that many rows for the heel. Okay. Gusset. Oh, yeah. No, the heel flap. Yes. I guess it's Yeah, and yeah. then pick up 18 stitches on either side. Because normally I do, is it 64 or 68 64, 64. Probably. And all of that is like 1632. Oh, so I then see. I'm going to just make it bigger. So. Yeah. I would measure his foot. Okay. Because he's got skinny feet. Okay. Yeah. So maybe he could do a yes, 64. He might. I doubt it. Okay. His foot's very long, but it's not very okay. wide or anything. Maybe I should do 68. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll keep you posted. She's going to measure stuff. Yeah. I'm going to, and I'll probably, maybe I'll just have him put that yeah. over his. Yeah, I would, but. for sure. Uh, the other thing was the pattern for that shrug, the Saturday shrug, the Sunday shrug, and the Friday shrug, they're all free on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. So those, nice. that's a good, mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing I have is my Sprite. And here's just a reminder of what it looks like. Lovely. Lovely Andrea's. Okay. Yeah, I love Andrea. it. So this is it. And after watching the last video, uh, my daughter in Memphis, she's like, I want the one with bobbles. <laughs> so this is the only one with bobbles. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this is it. So one more <laughs> sleeve and she's coming up on Thursday. Yeah, she and her family are coming Thursday. So maybe I, I think I'll be done by then. So mm -hmm. yeah, so I'll be done and block it and yeah, yeah give it to her. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, that's maybe she so won't sweet. watch this before then. Yeah, she can try it on. She needs yeah. to try it on because yeah, we're all built so differently in my family that she'll try it on and we'll see. Yeah. So yeah, that's exciting. If it fits her, she can. Yes. Yeah. I don't have any more whips. Okay. Well, I do. Okay. And these are old whips that I um that I just found. Yes. This is this sock yarn is from. Uh, Chelsea Lux. It's hand dyed, and uh, she's in Red Bank, New Jersey. The colorway is Laguna Beach, and it's eighty five percent merino and fifteen percent nylon. So this is the yarn. That's so pretty. And I am attempting to knit two socks on one needle. Whew. Okay, so I don't know if I'll do this again. Because it's a little, yeah, you know, it's a little too fiddly. I just don't know if I'm going to do that again. But yeah. the beauty of it is when you're done, you'll have both socks Two finished. Socks, yeah. So here's the socks. And this was a sock set. And this is, that color came with it. But That's look so at this. These are Andrea Mowry's, uh, the, you know, the ones, I think they're the everyday. everyday socks. But I did not do the ribbing on the back, on the bottom. I just yes. did it on the top. So, and I think I'm going to do, I don't remember what heel she does in that. Is it the gusset heel? No. It's a weird heel. Yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that heel or if I'm just going to do an afterthought heel. Like mm -hmm. she did in her Curio socks. So, but I love yeah, the yarn. It's cute. And I haven't decided if they're going to be long or if I'm going to make them just little shorties. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, I have a friend who, Sister C, she loves this yarn. And I would give her the other part so she can make her oh, some little yeah. shorties, too. That would be so sweet. Wouldn't that sweet? sweet? Yeah. You so, could do that. Yeah. <laughs> so those are, and then this I found, and this is very old. Because when I found this, oh this is what the socks were on. Double points. So I'm like, oh, okay, no. I just, they're a little fiddly too. Yeah, I think these double points. I know. So then I'm not sure. I think this yarn, it's like a, it's not a, is it a Zuber ball maybe or uh, something? Zot, yeah, Zotter Zotter ball. Ball. I don't know. Mm -hmm. ball. But I'm sure you all know what that is. But it just changes the color and I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. So after the double points, I switched to the, to the little, Nine inch, uh -huh. reds. How is that? On twos. Oh my word! That makes my have, hands cramp. Yeah. Have you tried them? Yeah. Have you? Well, I'm so sorry. I have is, shorties, but I don't have. I yeah, think these about are the same length. Are not. they really? I think is that these shorter? are no. That's shorter. That's shorter. Yeah, that is so shorter. See that? My yeah. hands are kind of big for that. I didn't mind, but it it. Mm -hmm. So then I actually went to Stitch Yarn Studio the other day up in Covington. Nice. Very sweet people up there. Very, very sweet. And they have these new needles. I mean, I, I think they're new to them. I don't know. They might have been out for a while. 
but they're Addies, and I used to mm -hmm. use Addies all the time, but they're called Rocket Two Squares, and they are square fill of these, and they have oh. kind of little notches or yeah, something like on them. Yeah, like squares on it. See that? So it kind of holds your your stitches on there for you. Yeah. These are it's a thirty two inch. Yeah. So I put this on here, and I've been going to town. Wow. Yeah. So I really do like these needles. But this is what the sock is going to look like. Yeah, and it's just going to be really a, pretty. Yeah. So. So do you like the little I, squares? I like do it like them, those. Okay. And it's just a little texture, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of fiddle with, mm -hmm. I think. So I'll let you borrow them the next time. They're size two. Okay. Um, do you knit all of your socks on size two? Uh, mostly, okay. yes. What do you knit yours on? Uh, mine are size one. Are they really? So far. Mm -hmm. So can you tell a big difference? I don't think so. I know. Maybe well, I should. I just thought they were so much smaller. <laughs> so no I don't feel like you can yeah. tell a difference in the size. I don't think you can. I mean, I don't yeah. think yours. I think a lot of people do yeah. on size two. Yeah. I just like, like snug. Really size. snug. Yeah, yeah these won't snug. be really, really snug. <laughs> but I do like those needles. Yeah. So And they nice. had smaller ones. They I think they, they had some larger sizes as well. Mm -hmm. And I think they bought them mainly for sock knitters. Okay. Yeah, to knit. Yeah. Because it kind of helps hold those. Yeah, but I don't know. I may try these nine inches again. Yeah, sure. but Some people, will they'll get like two and they'll do it like that. Or maybe oh. it's the longer ones. And then uh -huh. they just do on two. It's almost like double pointed needles. Yeah. But just two yes. needles yes. that are flexible. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, okay. I will, I think, uh, Stitch Yarn yes. Studio, I think they have an online shops mm -hmm. i don't know if the needles are on there or not but they do have online like oh i'm sure they are so. yeah and i'm sure yeah. if it's not you could call that shop mm -hmm. because they are extremely uh helpful oh, so yeah that's awesome yeah i need to go we need to go up there and do they have knit night on thursday night okay i would love i mean it's you know it gets complicated when yeah. you know because it's it's a it's a hike for us it's probably what an hour and Two hours almost. Yeah, almost two hours. Hour and 30 minutes, mm -hmm. I'd say. Hour and, yeah, hour yeah, and 30 minutes. Yeah. But, um, you know, traffic in Cincinnati is a little. Mm -hmm. And you have to, it's very close. It's right on the river. So, but yeah. it's a cute shop. And they have really nice little sitting area to knit in. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and everybody was just really chatty and nice. Mm -hmm. And they also were like, if, you know, we'll leave you alone. And mm -hmm. if you need me. And they were. That's so, awesome. Yeah. So, okay. The only other thing I have to show, this is... I just have like... Oh, good. You go first then, because okay. I've been talking a lot. Oh, no. Do it. Um, so, I got this yarn probably a month ago. Um, this is Olivia and Oliver Fibers oh. in the colorway Feather. And it's a sock set. I think this is like the first sock set that I've like purchased, where okay. it's like the two colors together. Yes. So, it was really fun to get this um it's kind of similar to the eggnog colorway that i okay. did my other sweater in but not like yellows or it's more like browns and uh -huh. pinks so uh -huh. um i'm with excited cream. to yeah with oh, cream. Yeah. i love mm -hmm. i don't know it's just really pretty mm -hmm. um so i'm gonna do i can't decide if i'm gonna do a lacy pair of socks uh -huh. or plain i haven't done a plain just vanilla a plain. sock so yeah. i don't know Probably do something lacy. Yeah, it's, you she know. likes lacy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. The other thing I'm gonna start since I finished that the Saturday shrug is the RK Everyday Cow, and I'm gonna try and get it done before the knit alongs over. I'm gonna do two colors. Hmm. Um, so it'll. But my colors are pinks. So is this is. Shop? I know. Are you shocked? You love pink. This is the Lamb and Kid oh, Todd, oh, and my that goodness. has. 65% yak, 35% cashmere in it. That's so, really pretty. I got this at Black Mountain. Okay. And then Unicorn. Mm. So, so this is, um, this is a Do You Knit exclusive. I've told y'all that before. So this is only made for that uh, shop up in New Jersey. And this is a sh super washed wool, which I found, I didn't find that out until, Casey from Young Folk Knits 
she was talking about, she had thought it was not super washed. Mm -hmm. And then she, somebody told her, oh, it's super washed. And I'm like, is it really? I didn't know that. Because it doesn't, to me, feel no. like super washed. No, it doesn't. Um, and it doesn't knit up to me like super washed. Mm -hmm. Even like in my sweaters that I use it, I can't even. And I mean, I blend it with, with right. you know, that just so. non-super wash. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had any problems. But I mm -hmm. am hand washing, you know, I'm soaking them and then you know, drying them flat. I'm right. not trying to do anything crazy with them. But yeah, it does say super washed right on there. Wow, well, who knew? I know. Wow. So yeah, there you go. That's so beautiful. that, so I'm really excited about that. That would be so pretty. I think it'll I be a quick that. knit. Yeah. Hers are always pretty quick for me, just mm -hmm. because it's like, what's next mm -hmm. color, the next color. Yes. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's super yeah. fun. Well, good, hopefully that'll be a whip. So that'll keep us busy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope y'all have a wonderful day, whatever yes. that holds. Yes. And we will see you next time. I hope you found joy in your knitting. Yes. yes. <laughs> Bye.